Thank you everyone for coming. Um, I will first start with my graduation collection and tonight's talk will just be from my very first collection up on my graduation work up to all the way to the latest collection I've done. Um, this collection is based on inspiration of Mickey Mouse playing with Legos. So um, I think that becomes um, a house look for ourselves where all our designs have lots of colours or bordering along the garments like the beading that we have going on along the skirt hem. Um, and this skirt has beaded, hand beaded in um, India. It's all hand woven with metal strips and a hammer um, till it's really flat. Each skirt takes about three weeks to complete. And then this is my second collection, the collection inspired by the bird cranes. And so I look into encyclopedias about the colorway of those birds are and create a silhouette that's kind of airy and puffy and just to show you um, how the drape works, I put a nickel on oh, the time flight. Um, and this is our um, same thing from the same collection. And from then on, we have developed a way of doing pattern making um, with tuck and pleats to add texture into very simple fabric. As you can see, with the arrows, that's how we hand stitch the lining. So the lining doesn't roll down the neckline. As a lot of female here probably know, when you wear dresses, the line usually rolls out. So with our label, it's not just about the inspiration, but also about the technique that's involved in. To me, fashion is something that's just not about the look, but about the knowledge behind it and where it comes from and what it's about. Um, this collection is based on the cartoon Madeline, as you guys familiar with it. So I've taken inspiration and create silhouette that's quite school uniform-ish and I sort of remember what my sister wear to high school back in those days and create a series of looks, really black and white, silver, very monotoned and just has that sort of girly, young and fresh feel to it. And on the side it just shows the pattern, that little triangle over the top that just what fits on the shoulder. And sometimes we play with geometric shapes and we work out how we're going to sew it onto a garment to create different looks to it. Um, same thing, this um, garment on the left is inspired by a basketball jersey um, that um, girls wear when they play basketball. And I'm just trying to um, add a bit of bow into it to create that soft, uh, innocent look. And this collection is called Into the Unknown. It's a collection inspired by the cartoon The Jetson. After doing um, inspiration based on Madeline, I thought, what would Madeline grow up to be? And I thought Madeline would grow up to be living in this space where you don't have to walk, everyone travels on um, a um, vehicle without wheels. So I created a little look that kind of like space-ish. And I also tie in the inspiration of um, flight. Um, so every garment is named after an air aeroplane model name. Um, for example, that dress you just saw with both, that was um, called um, Fairchild. Um, and this is also part of um, the collection where we play with the patterns. Instead of you just sewing one bust up, we have spread the up and shrink the fabric with iron to fit onto the dress to accommodate um, the bust without a thin line over it. And this is just um, another two garments we have in the same collection that sort of play along that streamline that the um, aerodynamic um, models have. Um, and they're sort of um, trying to keep everything monotone as well. Things that carry on the inspiration of Madeline, everything's black, white with silver. And then after having done a few collections, I find I really enjoyed the pattern making process. I thought, well, instead of designing from a cartoon character or some sort of character around my life, I want to do a collection based on pattern making. So I developed this whole range without inspiration, but rather play with the pattern um, on flat piece of paper and see how we can open up the paper, slash and cut and paste, all kinds of technique you might have, to create something into 3D with drapes. And drapes like, um, the dress on the right hand side. Um, we have uh, sourced out our fabric silk shawl and that just flows really beautiful with air 
and then that leads me into jumping a collection without inspiration into another collection where I think we've got to come back to where we are and who we are. So I based um, this collection and the two pictures you saw before based on the um, royalty sport, like your sword fencing fight, uh, croquet, um, and equestrian. So everything has sort of a um, Roman feel, like one shoulder dresses, drapes, and sort of harsh line to it. And, and also combining the love of pattern making into using a um, triangle piece of paper. How are we going to cut fabric in triangles and turn into a dress like this? So, um, and so it's a lot of process that go into it that our customer may not be aware of. Um, and this is my latest collection for Autumn Winter 2009, releasing in March. And same thing, we're taking our pattern making and our inspiration to the next level. Um, we play with the drapes, but you probably remember the dress you saw before with the marker into the tuck of the fabric. We thought we are trying to make the drape without gathering. So it's really, when you give yourself a challenge like that, you push yourself to another level, how you can turn something 2D into 3D and um, combining with all the fabric you can source and really limit yourself with the resources you have to create a look that you don't see it much elsewhere. And um, this is for the last dress which is taking a trapezius or sort of weird shape um, pattern and we do the armhole and sew straps just to see how we can tie a piece of fabric into a beautiful gathered dress like this. So hopefully I give you some info in your